Hi and welcome to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, Senior Instructor here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic is shared parameters and key schedules or workflow. We will be looking at the new ways of using shared parameters to drive other global parameters using key schedules in Revit. Very well, let's get started by saying new here. We'll move over to the Imperial Architectural Template here. We'll say OK. Now, we'll be creating a room, and we are going to be doing this demonstration based on room finishes using shared parameters inside a key schedule for global parameters. Let's go ahead and see how that's done. First things first, let's build the structure here. Let's go ahead and build these. We'll go ahead and it's going to go to level two. It's just a very basic room. Doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll go ahead and add a room object to that. So we'll go ahead and do that very well. And now at this point, we'll go ahead and create our shared parameters. And that is done this way. We'll go to manage. In manage, we'll go to shared parameters. And the first thing we need to do is create a grouping for this parameter. So we'll go ahead and say new grouping. Call this one room finishes. Okay, we'll say okay to that. There's our new group. Okay, then we'll go ahead and now create the very first parameter. So it's going to be new. Okay, before we put even the name, we're going to change it from type parameter length to type parameter text. We're going to do that to all four. It is common, basically saying that this is part of the architecture. And the this one is going to be the base finish notes. And we'll say OK create a new one. Once again, the first thing we do is change the type to text. Common stays. This one is going to be the ceiling notes. Ceiling, whoops. Finish notes. Common text, yes, and make sure that everything's fine. Next one is going to be the floor, but we first change to text type, common, and then we go to floor finishes. Floor finish notes. Yes, everything's fine. They'll say OK to that. And last but not least, let's see the properties, just making sure. OK, last but not least, we'll go ahead and not length. It's text, common, yes. And this is going to be the wall finish notes. Okay, so we've created all four components for the room as far as the finishes are concerned. And then we say, okay. Now these are shared parameters. That means that they are not really inside the project. Okay, they exist as a separate file. Okay, and so we'll say, okay to that. Okay, now that that's been done, okay, we'll go ahead and say, um, global parameters, which the, they are not going to appear here. Why? Because all we really did was create them. So you can't expect to see them anywhere until you start to do what you need to do, which is go ahead and launch your um, your schedules for the keys, keys. So we'll go to views. We'll go to schedules, schedule quantities. Okay. We'll go ahead and look for rooms, which is what we're looking for. We were assigning everything to rooms. So in the uh, category here, we'll look for rooms. It's not a schedule building components. It's actually a key schedule. We'll go ahead and say room finish styles. OK. And we'll say OK to that. Very well. As you can see, the room finished uh, notes are not here. The original ones for the rooms are here. Yes, base finish, ceiling finish, but we want to actually uh, uh, um, um, uh, acquire this from shared parameters. So what we'll do is <coughs> we'll go ahead and create them. So we'll go ahead into the new parameter here under the fields properties. Okay, it's a shared parameter. It already exists. So what we'll say is we'll use the shared parameters. We'll say select and we'll say base finish notes here. By selecting that one, we'll say OK to this. 
change this group parameters here from text to identity data. We want it to appear along with the finishes. And we'll say OK to that. So there's my base finished notes. Let's go ahead and keep uh, create the other three. Okay, identity data. Okay, we'll select ceiling base notes. Okay, identity data, everything's good. Okay, so we have base finished notes, ceiling finished notes. The next one is going to be, let's go ahead and identity data here first. Then select is going to be the floor finish notes. Okay, and then we'll say okay to that. That's number three. Let's go to number four. And we'll switch it from this to identity data. Okay, everything's good, 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 good. We'll say okay to that. Okay, and this is our schedule for room styles or room finish uh, style finishes. So we'll go ahead and say room finish styles schedule. Okay, and we'll go ahead and add some rows here. Let's go ahead and add, let's say four. We'll go ahead and call this one uh, room uh, style one okay we'll go ahead and say room style two we'll say room style three and then here we'll say room style four We'll go ahead and, and then once this is all uh, set in, we've defined all of our key names. You'll see that you said that the key name is actually a default um, uh, field always for room finish uh, for room uh, for any uh, schedule. Okay, uh, type of uh, uh, rather a style type of schedule or key key schedule. Okay, once that's done, because these are text, we can then go ahead and type in. Let's say the base finish notes here is going to be natural wood. Natural wood finish, and this is going to be uh, satin wood finish. Okay, and let's say this is uh, white paint. Okay, finish. Okay, now because these are texts as we had defined them earlier. Really, all we have to do is type in the values, and we don't have to type them anymore because all of those values, each and every one of the values that we typed in, becomes also an option to be selected from, and like that. So, this is true to all for all of these. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. See, a ceiling is, um, um, uh, let's say, this is gypsum board ceiling. Okay, and this one's uh, two by two acoustical ceiling tiles. And because they are selectable, we don't have to be uh, doing anything else. For the floors, we're going to say uh, this is going to be wood number three. And this is going to be white paint. and switch this over here to white paint okay let's go ahead and make this one uh, uh, with three and this one white paint again for the sake of arguments now you'll notice that each, each one of these rows here or fields doesn't have the set that we previously typed because those that were previously typed were for this field only or, or for this field or for this field or for this one for that matter only it's only for the fields into which you type them. So let's go ahead. We'll finish white paint. Let's call this one wall paper. Wallpaper, uh, let's say number eight. Okay, and let's go ahead and say this one is uh, 
wood uh, panels and just for the sake of argument white paint again just like that so now we've all gone ahead and filled out all of these uh, um, uh, fields let's see how that affects the actual room now this particular room has been uh, given all of these items right here okay and the thing that uh, you'll see that all of the uh, the shared parameters are right here and they're in being indicated for me to fill in and I can actually fill them in but I don't want to fill them in because I want them to extract them from the room finished uh, schedule so let's go ahead and tile this see how more or less this actually works let's go ahead and view let's go ahead and tile let's move over here closer and as we can see let's go ahead and assign a room to this here's our room finished styles you see it so all I have to do is open it up and select one watch what happens to this section in here you see that so no matter what I select from here it's going to change the values according to the schedule which we created earlier okay so as you can see this is a very easy way for us to go ahead and keep a really good tight control as to what's being applied to what all we really have to do at that point rather than type it every time is go ahead and assign a style room style to this particular room and automatically those values that were placed in those parameters get a get a um, um, get uh, uh, appointed or assigned to that particular room whose style you select it to be with that, my dear friends, uh, we have come to the end of schedules, or rather a room style key schedules using shared parameters, a workflow. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please have a safe day and thank you for watching.